Good morning, just another quick unboxing of a new pair of Crockett & Jones shoes I got yesterday. I bought them off a French retailer named Upper Shoes, which is a few shops, I think, scattered all over France, if I remember correctly. I got a pair of suede shoes, this time suede boots. I've taken the boxing out of the original transport packaging because it was a bit uh, bulky, but they did... Uh, Put a nice little ribbon around the actual Crockett & Jones box, which was quite cool with the shop's uh, branding on. If I can, I'll touch a photo to this. Just open it up. Now let's see what we have inside. The usual Crockett & Jones box. Open it up. Okay, I've actually put the shoes in a shoe bag. They normally were delivered outside of the shoe bag, but I put them in the shoe bag because I got the shoes yesterday. Our usual wrapping. And let's see if we can actually take the shoes out. Ooh, it's a bit complicated using one hand unboxing, but I'll try my best. I'll take them out. There is one of them is out, and just to show the model. This is the 7.3, and I guess it's an older model. I don't think it's a new model, I guess it's quite an old one. And it's a khaki suede, which is a little bit different. I wanted lighter shoes this time because the last pairs of shoes I got are fairly dark. Not very not black, but dark. Well, one pair was black, but the other ones are quite dark. I decided to go for something lighter. Oh, here is the actual right shoe. Here they are here. Just put them up there on the box. And they're actually very nice shoes. Very, very nice. I actually like them a lot. They're very nice. They feel very sturdy. But I have to say one thing that I have noticed with the shoes. I guess it's the day night. Yes, it's a day night, and this is the day night city saw, if I remember correctly. Let me get the other one out of the shoe bag. What I was going to say is that uh, actually here's the left boot. The left boot. There's one thing I can say that's significantly different with my other shoes that I've done. Having gotten the trickers, the trickers I find are very hard. The leathers are very hard on the trickers. Whereas here, if you can see, the leather is very, very, very subtle leather. Very soft, or suede, should I say, suede leather. Very, very soft. Trickers I find, the other, other uh, suede shoes I got from Trickers, the darker ones that I first unboxed, they were very hard. The leather was actually, the suede was like rock. It actually took a few, maybe probably a good week to walk in. Whereas these, I slipped them on last night after I received them, and... Uh, Soft, like almost like unbox, put on your feet and good to go. Which I didn't expect at all. I guess that's the main difference between Crockett and Jones and Trickers. The trickers are really, really hard. And these are really, really soft. I guess it's two different concepts of shoemaking. Maybe one is more inclined for the city or town and the others are more countryside. I'm trying to read, the, get the label on there. But I can't, unfortunately. And as you can see, the normal Crockett and Jones label. Let me see if I can get this label here. Of inside the shoe. I don't understand what all these numbers mean. I guess I could look them up, but I have no idea. It's a bit difficult trying to get the good lighting in here. I'm trying, sorry guys. Seven, three. I've got eight and a half this time, which seems to work just fine. Oh, I zoom in. Ah, that's better. There we go. You can see everything. Leather up. Um, no, okay, you can see all the things if you want to read them. And Crockett and Jones. And here is another good look at the boots. Very nice boots. I'm going to give them a try on quickly. Let me stick them on and I'll show you on my feet. I'll be back with you in a second.